Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another how-to tutorial. And today we're gonna discuss how to start with nuclear industries, what to do, how to set it up. Right, so, first things first, where do we start, city or the industry? Let's go with city. Okay, so here we go. I think this is a perfect location to this, for the city and... Right, okay, I paid for everything in rubles, that's not a problem, we're gonna switch to dollars soon. And also in this case we are close to NATO border, so the prices are not gonna be so steep uh, for using dollars. So I'm gonna switch to dollars straight away, we're gonna start with graveling up the roads, because as far as you know, uh, we are building everything in mud. And because we can easily change it and we don't really need any roads, especially in the beginning. So I'm gonna do and pave the hell out of this place and uh, I'll be back as soon as I'm done so we can continue from there. Right, here we go. Uh, a little bit of basics. Uh, everything should be more or less connected to everything. We have university, we're gonna start with university and pay attention here. <laughs> Uh, pay attention to us uh, needing to have educated workers because nuclear industries are important. Uh, they need to have highly educated people. Right, okay, so that's all done. Let's see what we can do. One fire truck, that's fine. We're gonna have a couple of ambulances, two is enough. And I'm gonna lower the number of workers working here by almost 95%, here 50%, and here 10 people should be more than enough. Right, schools and kindergartens, I'm gonna leave them as they are because uh, we're gonna need them to uh, function properly and of course this is not the last of the workers we're gonna have, of the kindergartners we're gonna have, we're gonna need many 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 more. Uh, this is a simple weather station just, uh, sorry, the pollution monitoring station just to see what's happening in our town. That's it, all the buildings are empty, we're gonna set that up uh, uh, as soon as we're done with setting up our industries. By the way, initially I forgot to mention that we need, of course, source of uh, uranium ore. Unfortunately, or slash fortunately, this is the lowest an amount of uranium ore I ever saw. So this is not, well, it doesn't matter, we're close to the border and one source is more than enough for us. Uh, it's located here in the hills. so. Let's go to energy related industries and put this, I would like to say, as low as possible, but um, this wouldn't be the worst place. So, but uh, there we go, in the middle, just aim for the middle, that should be enough. Uh, we're gonna level this area here and uh, I'm gonna set up the industry now and I'll show you how everything looks like. Uh, just now. Here we go. Mine is here, it's connected directly, it doesn't have engine either mine or this uh, uranium processing plant because uh, it doesn't really require it. Mining, we're gonna see mining capacities and all that good stuff regarding the mine, it's connected to uranium conversion plant. We will not be producing nuclear fuel here, we will be producing only uranium hexafluoride. We don't have money and we won't have money to uh, start on these industries. Uh, we're gonna start with this and then, or then later on, if you wish, you can expand, but in this tutorial we're gonna go all the way to the end, but not just cross it. Okay, I'm gonna set up electricity and piping and see in a sec. Right, okay, so what do we have here? We have a simple city setup. Uh, I'm check if I missed something, but it doesn't appear so at the moment. We have a uh, cinema, which I usually also put only three workers, which is more than enough. Hospital down to five workers each and two vehicles. We have a city council, we need to follow up on our population growth and active population. We have two playgrounds, which is gonna be enough. Two kindergartens, which is not even gonna be enough even by a long shot. We're gonna have to build two, if not even three more. Uh, what else do we have? We have university, we need to cut employees to that one as well. We do not require anything from this university except educated workers, we don't need any research. For fun? Nah, I'm not even gonna start it for fun. You can probably experiment with it, but uh, I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna be needed. I got electricity here and I imported electricity, it's stabilizing at the moment, it's gonna drop down soon, there we go. Um, and we have a heating plant, don't forget that you need to import coal in this case, so we're gonna import coal, whatever they need, and also there's another thing, chemicals. Chemicals is gonna be 
I want to say a big expense, but it's not going to be that big of a, usually 10-15%, I believe, of all the profits. Okay, so what do we have? We have mine, it's finished. We're gonna leave all the workers as much as possible. We're gonna have uranium processing plant. Be aware that they need 15 highly educated people and this one needs 40, that's with maximum production. So that's not small amount of people that are gonna be working here. 120 here and 75 here plus 100 in the mine. That's a lot. 220 plus 70, it's almost 400 people just under 400 people plus we have a heating plant i set it up like this have no particular reason i want pipelines to be closer to the city i could have stretched it up to here maybe but that's fine i just didn't want to overdo it we're gonna probably make it anyway so that's about it this is our setup we need a petrol station we need a bus depot so we're gonna start with that as well Petrol station, usually I put it somewhere around the city, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, all the vehicles uh, going around, except the firefighters and the hospital vehicles, are gonna be coming from this direction. It's far away from the power supply, so we can always... I don't know, why not? Let's plonk it in here. And then we have a bus depot that doesn't require power connection, but we still have it here That's as well fine uh right let's build this up uh, we're gonna set up bus lines i think six ish buses would be enough we're running low on money and i need to see what's not gonna be built everything is built perfect okay let me continue on let me buy some vehicles and uh let's see what else we need and let's this uh, let's get this uh, settlement going right so let's start with industrial Industrial, uh, this is going to be industrial connection. This is going to be for our buses delivering people to work. Okay, I'm not going to mess with them too much. I'm just going to select all the vehicles, let them be on their merry way. Uh, but first, I probably should have set up the people and their needs. I'm going to pause for a second until we do this. And uh, let's do it. Right. First things first. Uh, straight up from the bat, we're going to need a lot of educated people more than usual so there's gonna be at least 200 of them so i, I will start with uh, the rest of the population so let's go for 100 people in every building like we usually do i think that should be more or less okay amount uh, i think we should start with more and i suggest starting with a little bit more if you can afford it because definitely you're gonna need all those workers um, later on it's really important for you to take care of your future future i mean you need to educate your people because you need to re be ready that f almost 50 percent or 30 percent 33 percent of all workers you're gonna have in nuclear industry are gonna require to be highly educated so i'm gonna start with let's say how many let's see how many people we have uh i'm not gonna count all the highly educated people i'm just gonna add 200 highly educated people more to this to the to this neighborhood well to these buildings so we have 100 over here and we're gonna have one more similar setup there we go 140,000 all highly educated well a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of highly educated people everything should be connected nicely we need additional kindergartens and i have no idea if we need anything else than this some of these uh, some of these buildings are gonna be a little bit tricky to st when they start working initially We're gonna have a lot of people coming. I don't know to get food to get some kind of education uh, But as soon as they get this basic stuff that they need is gonna all equalize and then you can again juggle with your With your population you can move workers away from let's say schools and uh, one of the important parts is city council. I wanted to recheck what's happening here. We're gonna <clears throat> recheck these numbers later on. Okay, let's pay attention to this. 800 workers, 1,218 um, actual population at the moment. 118 uh, kids and 300 uh, children. These children are the first ones that are gonna hit your labor force that's gonna happen in like year year and a half we're not gonna see this in this episode but these are the guys who's gonna be carrying your industries then they're gonna be these guys plus the new people new people are gonna explode in the next six months i'm expecting more than doubling the population or at least more than doubling of your work population so 
I am expecting around over over 2,000 people uh, if if everything goes according to plan. So let's start rolling this out, and uh, we have six buses. Of course, uh, cheat mode usually are activated and suggested. Cheat mode is activated by pressing letter C, H, and E together, and I activate only line spacing. What does this do? It actually uh, creates spacing between the buses which stabilizes supply of people to work areas so you won't have three buses full of people and then the last bus won't have anywhere to unload people so you will have more efficient workforce this way right what else I think we have most of it covered if not all of it I'm happy with the setup we're running at the moment and uh, I think we should start speeding the time up I'm gonna check if we require anything we have coal they have electricity they're missing uranium oxide uranium oxide is created here and transported there directly all of the places are connected with the pathways and uh, that should be it okay let's meet after the production has started Okay, so we can start following this, what I told you in the beginning, uh, your infrastructure is going to be overburdened in the beginning, everybody will want everything at the same time, but as soon as they receive the first doses of education, uh, it's all going to equalize and stabilize. Uh, one other thing I would like to do here, <coughs> and I suggest you do the same, is upgrade the roads. Uh, currently we are buying with dollars, we don't want that, we're going to buy with the rubles, so maybe we should start on the other side. There we go. We're gonna upgrade all the roads to gravel ones, and this is gonna speed up our transportation. Since they're spaced uh, anyway, they're gonna be uh, delivering people equally. Anyway, it's dark now, we can't see anything. Let's join when the light is out. Good morning all, and we have our first uranium hexafluoride produced. I'm gonna start with two uh, open hull trucks. We're gonna start with two open hull trucks. I'm gonna create a new line. It's gonna be a track line. We're gonna select our factory over here and we're gonna select our border crossing over here. We're gonna export to Soviets and we're gonna name this uh, UF6 because this is uranium hexafluoride, Soviet exports. Right, we're gonna save this and call it yes did we say that you should wait until loaded yes and you should wait until unloaded i'm not really sure that unloading part is necessary but we have it selected anyway so let's start with the trucks we're gonna assign both of you to your own respectable places and off you go both of you right let's see what's happening here we have a first two uh, containers of uranium hexafluoride they can carry these trucks can carry three each so that's a positive thing they went to refuel and one of them is gonna get most of the uranium hexafluoride uh, and the other one is gonna get a little bit less now this setup that we have running here it's a little bit better than i had with the testing i did uh, what do i mean by that we have a little bit more efficient uh, a little bit more workers and that means a little bit more efficient uh, supply and demand and at the moment i'm just gonna send this one to the border why he's full he can't receive any more uranium hexafluoride but the game has a weird tendency to start filling both of them at the same time and it doesn't allow this one to go i have no idea why they will equalize as the production progresses you can see that this one got the, this one can't have anything anymore but he's still gonna stay there until everything is full and additional container is loaded over here two trucks might not be enough so I'm gonna consider upgrading this as well but for the moment I'm gonna leave it as it is another investment we can do is just to improve road all the way to to this factory but this is extremely not necessary really need not necessary they only drive for a few hundred meters <clears throat> through the mud roads other than that all of this seems to be working perfectly fine we have 105,000. our population is happy we have two additional well actually four additional deaths uh six we need to start getting those birds and then we're gonna be all set they're requiring some inf some little bit of spirituality and tavern this is what we don't provide we never provide in on this map i never provide our workers with 
um, pubs because uh, they are healthier and live longer if they don't have uh, access to alcohol. So pubs are not really necessary and you're gonna see here that they're not gonna be any happier with pubs or without. So without pubs it's always a better option. Church is the another thing. We are playing with the cities but I didn't transport any people here. We are using only vanilla stuff, vanilla everything. And uh, we are importing even workers. So it's technically even pre-vanilla because we had some, uh, in the beginning we never had all the settlements we have these days. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we exported our first uranium hexafluoride. We can see the finances, how much we're gonna get. Uh, 11,000 per load of uranium hexafluoride. This price is gonna oscillate in time and we're gonna check the prices later. Uh, the biggest worry now for me is to start getting those little birds and that would be perfect, but um, that's gonna start any second now. Anyway guys, uh, let's meet in a couple of months. Okay, little update. Uh, so we have our first birth, that would be 13th of April, just under a month after first settle. well, not really first settlers came here, but uh, after we started this game. Uh, this is only gonna go up now, we already have a second birth, and um, the one other thing I wanted to mention here, I will do what's best for our settlement regardless of this tutorial. What do I mean by that? For example, we have more students than expected. I did increase number of professors. This automatically decreases number of workforce that is going to be going to the industrial zone because the workforce is going to have to be here. Now I'm going to point out one more time that the number we are looking here is three, uh, 809, which was 800 when we started. This is the number of available workforce. And the second number that we should be watching is 262, number of uh, university educated people. They are the ones who's going to be driving this nuclear industry. Of course, uh, the basic education workers are really, really important as well, but university educated workers can work basic education jobs, not the vice versa, is not possible. We had a, a, an increased number of workers to 15 working in the sales industry. Doctors for now they're not necessary, we are providing them with heating. Uh, heating is working here, estimated maximum drain 92%. They say that they have too many connections, but we have two of them, so two of them having too many connections is not really them having too many connections. They could, they can handle it, two of these exchangers. So heating is not gonna be a problem, we're not gonna expand greatly on our buildings, we're gonna have few more kindergartens in due time, as soon as baby boom happens, which is, well, as you can see already happening, we have more births than deaths while I was yabbering about. Right, so that's about it. Uh, we're gonna have to just let it deal with this and I can see that we have a little bit of an issue with the fire here. This is one of the management I mention usually. You can just increase number of workers here and they're gonna take the fire out and that's gonna be resolved in a few seconds. There you go. So they are more involved in this and done production can continue. Right, we're not gonna mention that person that died, but I have to tell you one thing, never ever ever in these tutorials I had a fire this early. I never had a fire at all in tutorials. I thought that was reserved for later stages of, game, of the game. Anyway, nuclear industry, we need to see how we're gonna do. See you in a few. We're back. Uh, slightly richer, uh, much better off. Let's just check what's happening. Five! Again, five kindergartens we had to implement. We have 2140 people, currently zero unemployment. I had a little bit of an issue. We had an issue that I didn't pay attention to kindergartens and we had um, at one point 150 people unemployed, which probably affected productivity of the factories. Uh, more so than anything else because local people will go locally to work and only extra workforce is going on the remote locations. So, how did we do? City did well. We're actually doing quite fine. I didn't have a lot of issues. A couple of things I would like to point out. Uh, I did follow as much as I could the number of professors uh, working for this population. And this is the first time I actually lowered it. And I can suggest something. If you have a 75% quality of the uranium ore, only around 75 people is more than enough for this setup with this kind of population, you know, starting 800 people. Let's see demographics what happened. 
so we got the increase of almost 100 workers so I don't remember how many we had uh, 300 or something like that no 100 and something people almost getting ready to hit the workforce uh, almost 100 of them actually joined the workforce hopefully most of them uh, High, um, the college educated and if you scroll down you can see here from 262 262 university educated people we have additional 40 almost 40 30 uh, 140 139 now we have 140 uh, people graduated college and joined the workforce of course we lost some people that's a normal circle of life uh, so we have more or less uh, these numbers that you can see here everybody is extremely happy we have um, highly educated people or university educated people up from 262 to 402 and we have just under 100 new workers on the workforce labor force I didn't touch anything else except I plonked three uh, kindergartens this one this one and this one which are now running close to a capacity and that needs to be you know, monitored uh, because kindergartens have crappy capacity here okay what's the what's the deal chemicals we had to import a lot of chemicals to create uranium hexafluoride and two trucks were perfectly fine perfectly enough uh, to export all the uranium hexafluoride that we produced one of them is exporting at the moment I think anyway as, let's check the numbers what's the deal so let's check first the last month 31,000 plus pure money a month before that let's go for that I'm gonna go for 1st of July and go for 1st of Ju 31st of July we had 37,000 and let's go month before that we had another 40,000 and then month before that, 1st of May, that's more or less when we stopped kind of spending money, uh, would be 50,000. So we had a huge increase of uh, money, uh, more so than with any other, uh, any other product that we usually have. I'm just checking here at what point did we actually build those kindergartens, the gardens, because they were more or less built at the same time. And you can see increase in uh, expenditure over here. So this month of 37,000 would be one of the months that we uh, used finances to create another kindergarten, which was really necessary. And you can see that the second one or, uh, well, two out of three, uh, all three were built in those two months and uh, what about from the beginning let's see so we're gonna go for this year we earned 268,000 rubles the only expense we have with nuclear industry is chemicals we need to import chemicals so what are we talking about chemicals the 25,000 uh, 15 tons of chemicals were purchased we are close to the border so the transport fees are not that bad and if we check for this year's uh, let's check for this year's uh, one more time this year I do apologize 268,000 that means that chemicals are less than 10% of our expenses that's quite profitable I have to say that's quite nice uh, right, what do I think? Uh, this is much better than in any of my testings. Usually I had around 30-35,000 profit. This is much more. This would be an average like 50,000 income every month and uh, uh, that would be 40 to 45,000 uh, uh, dollars exporting uranium hexafluoride. Now natural uh, next step would be you need more people. And you needed uh, another nuclear industry, the last one, and that would be nuclear fabrication before nuclear electricity, of course. So I think nuclear electricity is a waste of resources because exporting uh, nuclear fuel is much more profitable, at least in my calculations. So next natural step would be for you to build a nuclear fabrication facility and just continue doing what you're doing here. It's close enough so people can be... Uh, supplied expanding population that's a given you have to do that you have enough living space in this case and I think you would be able to supply all the workers there you definitely need a little bit more workers I wouldn't be stopping this of course better buses better roads and all that stuff but that's up to you anyway what do you think guys what do you think about nuclear industries uh, it doesn't even come close to fuel to oil 
but it's definitely definitely a sweet sweet thing to have and the natural expansion of your country because nuclear is clean nuclear doesn't create any issues and with some mods with the refabrication of the nuclear spent nuclear fuel definitely gives you uh, some edge Right. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know what you think. You like it, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, leave a comment in the comment section and all that good stuff, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.